Hello and welcome. I'm Carbon Chili, and this is the extravaganza that is my channel. So we're going back into Project Zomboid for a little bout for half an hour. Um, I thought I would try to take a look at it working before we started today. Um, as I've had a few false starts already um, with the stream not quite working or the sound working and something else not working. So we're back in. Uh, it does appear that things are running as expected. Uh, one or two minutes behind, but so i'm not sure i will take the car or a vehicle maybe maybe i will maybe there's a key inside it is awful cold and wet and windy out there so it may be prudent to actually um take a vehicle this time we're, plus we're going a little bit further away Did I take the key out? I don't remember taking the key out. Uh, anyway, we're going a bit further away, so um, we could probably do with it. So I'll leave the key in the ignition and let's get ourselves into this house. Now, why do I have a feeling this is the house I went into and stripped out? It does look vaguely familiar to me for some reason. Do I need a cigarette again? Yeah, I think that sink's gone. So let's quickly smoke a cigarette and then we will uh, take a look at what's happening here. Um, maybe I'll head a bit further down the street. Um, what I'm trying to do is level up my metalworking a little bit so that I can make some metal fences for the uh, end of days retreat uh, and, and end of days hotel. Uh, if we want, am I no seat? Okay, I could have just pressed V, but I always forget what key it is. Okay, so. I think this car is actually not far from being on its last legs. It's had a few dents and wax to it. Um, but I know I've definitely not been here. Yeah, it keeps cutting out on me, so maybe I will need to be a bit careful and aware that this may not be the getaway car we're looking for. Um, I can just imagine it. I had to run away and the first thing that happens is yeah, it dies and I get pulled out of the window by zombies. Uh, so can we disassemble the chrome sink? We can. So let's bring up our art and skill screen here so we know that we're, we're doing the right thing. We've got to get 750. We're on about 100 and something already. Shouldn't take too long. Um, and whilst I'm doing that, you can all just sit back and admire the scenery. Uh, I'll grab these two metal pipes. Uh, we don't appear to have any music. Maybe it's the, maybe I've switched it off. I do have a tendency to do that. Do I need a pen? No, I don't think so. Although, if this place has got some food, I might just raid it for its food as well. Um, I don't think we've got that long to go now. It is going to be a bit of a slog, and then we need le level 5. But by for level 5, we will probably make something. Um, although, the propane torch is getting pretty low. 
I do believe I have another propane torch in the house somewhere, but exactly where, I'm not sure. Maybe it's in my backpack in the box outside from my previous incarnation. Uh, I think this is about the... Oof, maybe 15th or 16th character I've had on here. Um, I'm, you will find them wandering around the wilderness every once in a while. There's not so many of mine because I have killed a lot of them. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a server where the zombies are realistic. They don't respawn. Uh, when you've killed them, you've killed them. So uh, things are relatively persistent here. And I try to keep them as realistic and as persistent as possible. Um, and I hope it, it does have a good feel to it. I mean, once you've cleared a neighborhood a little bit, you can keep coming back to it and it's, it's relatively safe. I mean, once in a while, a few zombies might wander back in because obviously out there in the world there's still millions of them millions of them um i went to moldraw recently and that was like the end of days it was an abomination an abomination i tell you uh so disassemble this i think this is the house where I found lots of guns. Um, there is a respawn on certain containers. I'm not totally sure how it works, but since the, the server is now on pause while empty, because um, the time was running pretty quickly, that's why we're in October already and we started in March, so six months. Uh, is this a washing machine? Cool. I don't want another towel, I don't think so. I'll just drop it on the floor. Let's check what this is. Mop sponge broom now. Uh, let's just disassemble the washing machine. This should give us quite a few points as well. Uh, it's going to take us a little bit to get here. But it's all part of the adventure. Now, I honestly could do with it stopping raining because I really do not want to run the risk of getting a cold or some such things because I don't think we have any antibiotics left. Uh, we've used them all trying to cure ourselves of the zombie curse. Now, if this has an upstairs, we should have the bathroom upstairs. Uh, let me. I went into one of these houses once, and it was just bit, and it got me bit, and I died. Um, yeah, do you know what? I, I've been in this house. Leather jacket. Now, isn't that much better? than what I'm wearing. Well, since I'm not wearing anything, it, it's got to be better. Um, why did I not check the other boxes? Oh, I'm wet. Why am I wet now? What what part of me is wet? Oh, scarf. Your scarf is wet. Let's take that off. Actually, let's put that in our backpack. Uh, I've got a scarf on because they do provide terribly good protection against our friend Mr. Zombie. Bob Zombie and his kids and his wife. Ooh, big hiking bag. Is that better than what I have? Weight reduction 80, capacity 22. What's my backpack? Can I tell from here? And equip. No. Capacity 20. No, absolutely not. Let's get this on my back, but I think this might be worth. 
Oikin. Um, how can I still be wet? What's wet? Well, we have a towel, don't we? So we can dry ourselves. That's one of the reasons we keep a towel. So let's now put this back in our backpack. And I wish I had picked up the other one now. Um, oh, well. Now, it's we're still all right for the day. Let's check um, that. Let's disassemble the white sink. Uh, we see if we get anything for it. We've got a plus five multiplier with yeah, more or less. Well, we're still a way to go. I'd like to be positive here, but we still yeah, slightly less than half. Let's grab the materials. We will probably have to go back before we get this level because how can I be wet again? The hell's wet? Is there a is there a hole in the roof and I'm getting wet? Or is it my face? Could be my face. Um, now what are we on? Three eighteen. So what? Three B three seventy five ish is halfway. Uh, pick up that metal pipe. I can hear a knocking noise, and I don't know if that's the wind or Bob Zombie, or it could be the thunder. But it does sound rather rhythmic. I don't know if, if that's how. Uh, got a lot of metal pipes, but I, we need metal scrap. Well, I'm not complaining. Actually, what's that on the floor? Isn't that something? No, oh, it's on the bed in the other room. Okay, did I go in there? Seems to be. No, just the other side of the wall. Um, what lovely, lovely wallpaper. I should just check in here, just in case. Oh, toilet. Perfect. I'm rather glad I did that. Um, often houses have two bathrooms, upstairs and downstairs. Um, not always, but especially in our modern age. So let's just do a little bit more of this and then we'll make a, a beeline back to the car. Because um, it, it's... Uh, well, it's, we're still all right. I mean, how much weight have we... How much weight have we... 18, 28, 10, 77. We're still all right for a little bit. Maybe two more. Let's put this hammer in this backpack because that should save our weight a little bit. Um, okay. What the heck? What is that? Something. Something. Something, uh, glowed up red there under my uh, money and bourbon. Take it. Under this floorboard, eh? Very cool. Very cool. I think that's the first time that's happened to me in that way. Okay, it could have been better. It could have been a... Uh, an MP4 or something, an MG5 or whatever you call them. But, uh, you know, I won't say no. Won't say no. Uh, let's see if this stuff has respawned. Screwdriver, duct tape, uh, nails. Take that wire. 
take those nails, take that docked tape, um, gravel back now. So it does appear like things may have uh, respawned somewhat now. Pants, sewing needle, sewing kit, nothing like that. Any toolbox? Mm, not really. Just take that duct tape as well. That's that's pretty good for repairing bats. <coughs> I'm sure it's duct tape. So let's. This will be the last house, and then we'll head back to the car because we're a little bit far from the car now. I think. Um, we don't want to get ourselves too far away. It could have quite disastrous or detrimental circumstances for a very quick escape. Um, so just a, a couple more of these toilets and bathrooms and then we'll, we'll be out of here and we will take this stuff back to our hideout. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure quite exactly what we're hiding out from. Zombies? Yeah, maybe, okay. Although, I think if the zombie's coming, he's going to come. Um, and we won't really have that much choice about that. So if I strip this one and the bathroom upstairs, that should be... It's not going give, to give me the level, but... It should uh, certainly give me quite a few metal pipes. It, it would be good if we could turn metal pipes into scrap metal. And I'm not sure why it's not possible. But it would be certainly quite good. I can do that sink. Oh, washing machines as well. Uh, I guessed that would be full. And this one. So the, these might give me some scrap metal because um, it seems machinery does. Maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe it's because it's machinery. Um, but this house is a jackpot for us because it might just get us that level that we're looking for. Uh, 487. What is it now? 525. Exactly, it, 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 I think it will with the stuff upstairs. I can hear a zombie. I can definitely, definitely hear a zombie. Uh, I'm not sure what I should quite do here. Let's get my bat out ready. I definitely hear a zombie. He's in the house. Uh, let's not take a risk here. I'm not going to risk that for a biscuit. That's not worth it to me. I've, I've been in those situations before. That's how I got myself killed. Let them break out. I think they could hear me, obviously. Uh, so let's make a beeline for the car. Try not to go through the trees. Uh, you can't really see. Oh, that got me a sprinting level. Um, you can't really see what's in in them when they're in the trees. So start this engine, get this car going. And I'm just going to take a recce around a little bit. Right, that's exactly what I was looking for. So I know that there's some, some zombies around here. Well, we've still got... Uh, Petrol and petrol at the petrol station. Why is the car 
the car keeps doing that and I think one day that's going to cause me a big problem so we probably need to start stripping this car and thinking about uh, uh, either fixing it or turning it into parts for another car that's the van there I was driving Oof. okay that was close I don't know why that wouldn't stop. Let's get back in the house, smoke ourselves a cigarette, and then relieve ourselves of some of this good metal loot. So, close the door. Oh, I took the key with me. I really shouldn't take the key with me. Uh, next time next time next time i'll make sure i don't so we got a lot of stuff here definitely a lot of good stuff uh not quite the level i was looking for but definitely definitely some i'll leave that actually i'll keep that dump this in here metal sheets the wire and an awful lot of metal pipe uh, i'm not going to complain because if i remember correctly it uh, the, the the fence posts do take an awful lot so i don't know what the money's for maybe npcs what you wish to do with npcs uh, let's put this big hiking bag on the floor, if we can. We want it on the floor. Or, no, we can put it in there. That has an awful lot of metal sheets, but not a lot of them. So let's eat these chips. eat these uh, get ourselves a little bit of an energy back um, okay so I've been carbon chili and this has been my channel we shall call it a day here thank you